everyone welcome to my channel the cloud security guy this is Tamur. Uh, if you're new here i talk on a weekly basis about things like cloud security artificial intelligence and general cyber security career advice uh, apologies for my voice i still have a bad cold which is why my voice sounds like this but i wanted to talk you know about a very important topic which is how to like you know boost your linkedin bio for cyber security jobs uh, this is quite important and i thought i'll make a video about it because i see a lot of people making mistakes about in this here and i thought i'll just give a little bit of advice or tips from my end and why why do i think this is important well because linkedin and social media are how people are finding jobs nowadays i mean you can still do the old way which is like you find a job that you like and then you apply with your cv linkedin and you wait for the response there's nothing wrong with that and how most people find their jobs but there's a problem of just you you know sitting passively waiting for something to happen and the, the, and the other approach is that the, you make the jobs come to you and you make your linkedin bio uh, such a job magnet that that recruiters seek you out and approach you for the next high paying cyber security job you know simple simple things you can do nothing like magical simple things you can do and you can make your bio very very attractive to cyber security recruiters and that will really give you a boost and you'll definitely see people reaching out to you and wanting to hire you for those positions so these are the tips i wanted to talk about today uh, and uh, please do like and subscribe to this channel guys if you find this videos and like and subscribe to this video so uh, you'll get notified and this will really help the channel to grow and uh, disclaimer i'm not a recruiter but this is good just good advice uh, collated from my own experience of interviewing and hiring hundreds and hundreds of cyber security professionals in my career okay so let's just take a look and what i'm going to do is i'm going to like use my own linkedin profile and show you what i've done because i've applied this actually so this is not theoretical and i've seen just how many people approach me for you know cyber security jobs and there's a reason why linkedin is focused so much because everybody like uh, linkedin is the new cv and this is the place where the majority of recruiters will find you so you should focus on that so let's take a look and i'll show you what i am talking about okay okay guys so what was i talking about now this is my linkedin profile as you can see now i just want to take this example and the reason i'm showing you my linkedin profile because i have applied these examples and I have seen an uptick in the people who approach me. So first of all, guys, the banner. You should definitely put a banner there. Why? Because it tells you immediately something which grabs the eye. Maybe it's your own company logo. If a recruiter opens this, now he knows immediately where I'm working at, right? Okay. And a profile picture. Please, these things, they really help you out. They increase your chances. They humanize you and they make you attractive to recruiters. They make you seem approachable. If you don't have a profile picture, if you don't have a banner, then it looks very drab and boring. And the first impression itself is given wrong. The next one is, of course, the name is not an issue, but the headline. Now put something there. Please don't put something generic that I am an information security professional. Uh, everybody, everybody, they are like billions and billions of information security professionals. That is nothing special. What is special about you? Now, if you look at mine, I've written I'm a cloud security pro. I know AI. I'm a writer. I have a UK global talent visa holder also. So all of these things are telling each one of these things is telling the recruiter what I am good at, what, what specialties I have. Okay. So this, you can see how it helps you. Now, if you move down and the featured section, now this is another thing which a lot of people do not utilize. And look, if you look at my featured section, please make sure to use this. You will have definitely something. Now, if you look at this, he knows I have a book published, right? He knows I'm on medium and writing on medium. He knows I have courses on Udemy. He knows I have a YouTube channel. He knows I have a blog. You don't have to have all these things, okay? Even if you have a certification, put it there. Maybe you publish something on Medium. If you haven't, write something on Medium. Look at my previous videos. Write something on Medium or cybersecurity. Put it there. Uh, courses and whatever you have, certifications, everything, please try to put at least something in your featured section to make it stand out and draw the attention. Now, that was one thing. And then if you're moving down, uh, in your about section also try to be as concise as possible put a lot of things there what are the specialties look it it tells the guy i've won awards i'm like a senior guy i have over 20 years of experience okay and in the fintech industry i have knowledge of these things what are my certifications and then i put my achievements here also okay now going down in your experience now this is where your job is please make sure to write down your achievements a lot of people make the mistake what they do is they put their job description here they just put their job. This is what I'm doing. No, you need to put in what, what everything. So these are the things I did in the UAE. I put it here. Okay. These are my achievements and use the media section also here. So if the guy clicks on there, 
he'll be able to see, okay, wow, I was speaking on this section. Okay, I spoke here. And if he goes here, he can see I was part of a CIO masterclass. And if you click here, he can see, he can actually go to the video here where I spoke on cloud security. Similarly, in my previous like role as a head of information security, he can click here and see I have won the CIO, CIS of the year award in 2023, uh, sorry, 2019. Uh, and this was an, again, another award I won. So these are the things that can really help you out. And going down certifications, I'm sure you, I mean, I don't think you need me to tell you about those things. And of course, recommendations. Now, people, sometimes they only get recommendations from the current. Please try to get recommendations across the board, as many people as you can, you know, different type of people. That will really show, like, I have people from, like, editors, you know, people across the board, like, all sorts of different people I've gotten recommendations from. And if you have any publications, put them here, awards, put them here. But what I want you to do, just remember, the first impression you will get is of your banner and your profile picture and your headline. These things need to be strong. Then when he goes down, he will see your featured section. So please do focus on this and I can guarantee you, you will see a definitely an improvement in the people who are approaching you, in the people who want to hire you and you will be reached out for good cybersecurity jobs. Okay, guys, I hope that was useful for you. Please, if you found that useful, uh, let me know in the comment section. If you felt I should have covered something more, let me know also and do like and subscribe to this uh, channel and that will really help the channel to grow and let me know in the comment section if you felt there's some other topic I could have covered. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video.